Prime Minister commits to continued growth post the IMF, fighting corruption and deepening ties with Chile through an air service agreement. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Anthony Morgan. Prime Minister Andrew Holness is currently in London, England, representing Jamaica's interests at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The summit which starts today ends on Friday. During the Prime Minister's working visit, he will meet with Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Charles of Wales. He will also have bilateral talks with his counterparts from Britain and Mauritius. Prime Minister Holness is expected to meet with the Jamaican diaspora in England, as well as current and prospective investors. England is the last leg of Mr. Holness's week-long working visit to Latin America and Europe. On Friday, the Prime Minister addressed the third CEO summit of the 8th Summit of the Americas in Lima, Peru. At the summit's plenary session Saturday, the Prime Minister committed his government to tackling corruption with the help of the international community. A call was also made for greater engagement of at-risk, unattached youth to stem crime and violence. And Mr. Holness used this summit address to condemn the killing of journalists in Ecuador, calling it a threat to democracy and the fight against the corruption. During his visit to Peru, the Prime Minister held talks with his Peruvian counterpart. He also met with US Vice President Mike Pence and Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. And while at the summit, Prime Minister Holness moved Jamaica a step closer to inking an air services agreement with Chile. During bilateral talks with his Chilean counterpart, Mr. Holness pledged to build on the Memorandum of Understanding signed by the countries in August 2017. Peru was the Prime Minister's first stop on a week-long working visit. By Sunday, Mr. Holness was in Brussels, Belgium for meetings which included talks with the head of the European Council, Donald Tusk. Prime Minister Holness also met with the Secretary General of the African, Caribbean and Pacific Group of States, Dr. Patrick Gomez and the Jamaican diaspora in Belgium and France, as well as business interests in those countries, were engaged. Back in Jamaica, acting Prime Minister Dr. Horace Chang attended a church service to mark the Urban Development Corporation's 50th anniversary. Today we recognize UDC for its immeasurable contribution to Jamaica's landscape. As we celebrate past achievements, we are even more enthused about UDC's role as a catalyst for growth for the next 50 years. This year's celebration is being held under the theme, The Golden Glow, Growth, Love, Opportunities, Wealth. We acknowledge her as a freedom fighter and uh, we are all sympathetic to uh, her struggle and the struggle for the liberation of South Africa and the end of the apartheid era in that country. Prime Minister Andrew Holness paying tribute to Winnie Mandela during last Tuesday's sitting of Parliament. Mandela died on April 2 at age 81. The day before, Mr. Holness received a visit from CEO of Special Olympics International, Mary Davis. Joined by Sport Minister Olivia Grange, Mr. Holness reaffirmed the government's commitment towards developing its Special Olympics program. And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. Join us next time for more of the news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.